All right, JD, let's check out some of your uh, race from uh, Stratton GS. Put you up here against uh, Declan McNamara. A little comparison. As you probably know, he's one of our uh, stronger kids in the council. Um, and hopefully, we can just compare, maybe learn something. So, coming in here, big fall away. Um, really had to be strong on the outside leg here, the right leg and an under gate. Um, you know, not bad. Not bad. You can probably see versus Declan. This will be sort of one of the themes. This is why I wanted to put uh, you next to him, is that we've been talking about all year. I think you can go back to that first video I made of you. Um, you're, very, you're very hunched over, you can see. You notice how Declan is upper body is much more upright. Um, and it really allows him, you can see how well balanced he appears how he can really probably pressure the outside ski. He's really balanced over the outside ski or on the outside ski, even though it's well off from underneath him. Um, level shoulders, and, um, you know, he's got those feet really, um, you know, off from underneath him, um, particularly the, uh, the, the downhill one. So we got to actually stand up a little taller. It allows us to really pressure the outside ski more. Um, and allows us to get the feet up from underneath us more. So, you know, it's sort of, I think you, you maybe you're doing it because um, you think it's going to be faster, you had to hunch over, um, but it's really not, um, you know, aerodynamics, although it's important if it's going to, hurt the turn a bit. Uh, it doesn't make sense. So here you're coming in just really direct on this thing, passing the gate with you know really no direction. So it came up in here and started the turn too early and nowhere to turn, so you had to kind of sneak by the gate here and boom. Now you got room to turn, throw them sideways. That kind of kills you. So put you on a low line coming through here, which was a little bumpy, but uh, and because it was a low line here, um, you really weren't ready. And this lower line, hard to see, but Declan has a little more space above. He's able to, above in the rise line. He didn't get a whole lot of direction there either, but you kind of tossed him sideways and hit some bumps and boom. Lost a ton of time there, obviously. Now you're on the low line coming out of here, but it, but it all started up. It all started up above where you pinched off and went straight at that one gate. And unfortunately, late becomes late in this game. You know, decent turn there, but still just that very hunched over um, stance. So, you know, here's side by side. Um, you know, we kind of want our upper body, as we've talked before, to really mimic um, the body, uh, I'm sorry, the angle of our shins. So, you know, when I say stand up taller upper body, I I'm, I'm certainly don't want you to be standing up like this, right? But as you can see, Declan is fairly similar and you are, you know, no, you know, nowhere close, right? So you can look at yourself right now, hard to, hard to pressure your outside ski, hard to absorb terrain, uh, and hard to get the feet off underneath us. I mean, you can go in your living room in your sneakers and jump back and forth, ski feet side to side like you're skiing, and it's really hard to get the feet from one side of us to another and out beneath us with her uh, being bent over the waist. Stand up a little tall, the upper body becomes a heck of a lot easier. So get you guys together again. So 
I mean, that's going to be the main theme here, just that really um, bent over. You will see um, you know, it's really hard just to pressure the outside ski like that. I like the way the hands move forward. I mean, there's some good stuff here, trust me, but we can make it better. Uh, we made some good turns here and there for sure. Get down to here. You know, Declan came in a little direct there and he's had to work below the gate. But, you know, when, when we get down to the flat area, we're just straighten out a bit. You know, we don't have to bring as much shape back. Um, we don't have to be above it as much. We can actually drop our apex down to the panel. <clears throat> like Declan's doing here, having half the turn above, half the turn below, and it really carries better speed. Your line's pretty good there. Um, okay, he did, he did grab a bully there, which for two turns probably made some sense. <clears throat> see how you know when you have your upper body a little more erect um, we really can get the feet up from underneath us um, really produce some upper and lower body separation um, keeping some nice level shoulders um, and really pressure the outside ski this is you know a little bit more and that and therefore you know we're not that level and harder to pressure the outside ski so your arc will because we're not pressuring the outside ski as much it might lengthen a bit your finish turn a little lower uh, Declan, Declan went a little direct here and cost him as he went over the uh, little knoll there. He's pretty low. He actually, actually got a better line going through there than him. So, you know, again, that's our, our main... Um, focus is going to be just having to stand up a little bit tall upper body allows us to get the feet out from underneath us pressure the ski better absorb terrain better um, and if we get the feet up from underneath us uh, we'll actually get into a, a, a lower a lower position lower hip position so we feel lower while we still have upper body you know more more erect Again, we don't want to up and straight up and down to match the angle of the shin. But we don't have to be hunched over um, when we're skiing. So let's, let's work on that. When you're out in uh, Colorado this weekend, work on standing up a little taller you know, in the upper body. And uh, see if that uh, see if that helps you out. Enjoy uh, enjoy the skiing out there. And great job this year.